Hello, and thank you for joining us for this edition of ICTV in Studio. I'm your host, Paige Hopkins, and today I'm joined by Don Callahan. Um, we're going to talk about some UNC football commits. So the first one is, he committed pretty recently, last week, um, Logan Bird. He's mm -hmm. a quarterback. And now something that's a little interesting about him is he doesn't do interviews. Correct. So we don't know a ton <laughs> of information about Logan. Um, but just talk about what you think he'll add to the team. I mean, it's his junior year in high school now. So when he comes to Carolina, we won't have Marquise anymore. But there'll still be kind of some depth in the quarterback position. So. Well, he reminds me a lot of another quarterback who's on North Carolina's depth chart right now, Caleb Henderson. Okay. You know, he's a pocket guy who has enough mobility to keep the defense honest. Uh, you know, he has a, a great arm, um, especially compared to some of the other quarterbacks that North Carolina was looking at. Great touch, great velocity. Um, you know, comes from a, a program that really kind of uh, geared their offense around him and his, his abilities. I think he'll bring exactly what North Carolina is looking for out of its quarterback position. You know, a, a guy who can basically spread the field, but also, you know, is a threat to run when, whenever he has the ball in his hands. Right. So we'll have to wait and see how, you know, he adds to the team. But I'm excited. I think he'll, you know, definitely bring something to that position that we've oh, absolutely. struggled at, you know, in specific years. Um, moving on, Tyler Pritchett just committed last Monday. Mm -hmm. Now, he is an offensive lineman, and we have a lot of veterans at that position right now. So mm -hmm. there'll be, you know, some openings when he comes back, but something you mentioned earlier was it's difficult for um, a freshman to start at that position. Absolutely. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, and, and I think the thing is, one of the pitches that North Carolina used to land him mm -hmm. was the fact that they're going to lose some offensive linemen coming up in, in uh, you know, after this coming season, and they're going to give him an opportunity. But, you know, with just how things usually play out for offensive linemen, they're not physically mature yet to, to actually play, no matter how talented they are as true freshmen. Usually it takes a couple of seasons. But he's the type of kid who he's going to bring a lot of, a lot of athleticism. He, plays, he actually plays left tackle, starts at left tackle for a very good program in Alabama, but North Carolina is going to move him inside and feels that he's going to bring a lot of versatility. He's going to be able to play either guard or center. He's been working on center snapping. You know, so he's been working on center in um, this past offseason. So UNC is excited to, to see what he can bring when he, when he actually enrolls, um, you know, in, whether it's in January, which is what he's considering, or in a year from now. Right. So, and that flexibility and kind of ability to play multiple positions is definitely something that we can look forward to with Pritchett. Um, and then two commits that we've had for quite a while, Javante Smith and Kyron Bowman. They've mm -hmm. been committed to UNC for um, a year, one of them, and six months, the other. Yeah. Um, so for Javante, um, he has probably seen a lot of changes in the UNC defense. He's a safety. Um, in the last six months, we've had tons of new coaches, new schemes. Um, so talk a little bit about how you think he'll be adjusting to the 4-3 um, and how it will kind of fit in with Carolina's new defense. Well, I think at first, when he initially committed, I think he was basically going to play that RAM position for North Carolina. Now that the defense is, is a 4-3, I think he's going to probably fit in either at safety, maybe in nickel situations, maybe move out to that nickel back position because he has the range to play safety, but he also has that linebacker mentality that you want out of your, your nickel back. Um, he reacts really quickly to, uh, to the defense, loves to hit, especially on a ball carrier who doesn't see him coming, but he also has great ball skills. Now, with Kyron, who's actually been committed for over, well over a year now. It was actually March of 2014 that he committed. And he's a guy who didn't begin playing football until his sophomore season. So he's, oh, only, wow. so he's only had a couple of years of, uh, of high school ball under his belt. Okay. But the thing with him is that he plays, he's another one who, who plays for a very good program, Havelock. They've, they've played for the state championship in his classification all of the years that he's played. Last year they lost to a very good defense, but uh, you know, and, and last year in particular, he became the go-to receiver. His background is, is basketball, so he has all that natural athleticism. He's long, he, he has the hops, um, he, he extends to catch the pass, you know, catches the ball at its highest point. He's a little on the raw side because of the fact that he hasn't been playing 
football as long as some other guys. Right. But um, you know, you can definitely see the the ability that he has. Got it. Um, and kind of as a final wrap up, talk a little bit about some of the commits that or potential commits that UNC might be waiting on, or some of the guys that the school is really um, working to recruit. I think you know. There's a couple of guys here and there that that they're they're really talking to, um, who, and you never know when you're when you're dealing with 16, 17, 18 year old kids yeah. when they're going to do, you know, make a decision on anything. You know, Tyler Pritchett, for example, was I don't want to say came out of left field, but you know, he visited without even visiting campus. Wow. He committed without even visiting campus. So, um, but if I had to say a guy who. I felt North Carolina was going to get soon. It would, mm -hmm. it would be JJ McCargo, who's actually is actually planning on visiting North Carolina for the sixth time in about two weekends. Okay, well that's so, telling. Six is a big number. Yeah, yeah, and and especially considering that he's from Northern Virginia, okay. so to, so it's not like he it's not like it's a short trip for him. It's a, about a four hour trip, a good mm -hmm. four hour trip for him. Um, but he's. You know, he's, he's basically said North Carolina is his leader. Um, after, after this North Carolina visit, it's probably going to be his last visit for a very long time. He's, he said that. So he has given every indication that you can give that you're going to commit other than saying, I am going to commit on this visit. Well, Don, thank you so much. I'm sure all the fans are excited to see how all the commit situations play out. Thank you for joining us for this edition of ICTV in Studio.